Hi, this is Ms. Shirley from the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy, and I am working from my home, and also my home has my art studio, and I wanted to share with you drawing lofty leaves. Now, all you need is paper and something to draw with, whether it's pencil, pen, marker, crayon, color pencil, whatever you want, whatever you have. All right, and let's get started. All right, here you can see I have a big sheet of paper and I have an ink pen. I also wanted to show you um, a collage of leaves that I made. And this one here is an aspen leaf. And you can see it's a teardrop shape, easy to make. The next leaf that I can show you is like a maple leaf and how it fan, or fans out. And it's just like, if you wanna think of it as a series of triangle shapes going down the middle stem And last, I think this one here is a pin oak. And it, to me, it reminds me of a gingerbread boy. And so I draw a head and I draw two arms. And then I also draw two little legs and then the end of the body. So the pin oak and um, the maple and the aspen are fun leaves to draw. Let's go ahead and draw one on paper. And let's start with that aspen, because that's easy and fun. And like I said, it's kind of like a teardrop, or you could think of it as like the, I guess the poo emoji. And then I give it a tail, which will be the stem. And then I come back and I make the stem a little bit thicker. And then just draw in little viney lines that come off of the stem. And then if you have crayons, you can color in the leaf um, typically aspens turn yellow um, and they're very beautiful because they're a brilliant yellow, but um, you can have fun and even make it multicolored. Um, for example, here is a leaf that I have made and I turned it into a tree and I painted in different colors and I use watercolors on this. And there you go. So that's an idea too. Now you don't have to have a new sheet for every leaf. You can just keep going. The next one that I want to draw is that pin oak. And let me start more towards the top. And I'm going to come down again with my stem. And like I said, it's kind of like a gingerbread boy. That's what I think about. So I draw the head and then I kind of come out and I draw almost like arms. And then it's kind of like feet and then kind of a pointed end. And then I do the same on this side. And there you go. I've got myself a pin oak. You can also put in the lines. And another leaf that we are going to draw is, and let me find some room here on my paper. We'll draw it up here in this corner. And for that one, I'm gonna start with the stem first. So I'm gonna kind of make it almost like an S. 
And then I'm going to give it a half circle or like an umbrella. And from there, I'm going to make it come in like a triangle. Just going to make it go round and back out, round and go back out. And I'm going to do the same thing. Make it like another triangle. Make it like another triangle. And round and back out, round and back out. And then another triangle, another triangle. And then you can even have it go um, from there all the way towards the end of the tip. And you can put in the lines. So it's kind of like my, my leaf is floating in the wind and it's, you know, dot, even dipping down to the, towards the ground. And there I have my lofty leaves. So I, um, if I don't have a crayon, I can still color them. And what I can do is I can darken my stem. So if you can see how I have darkened in the stem on that aspen. I can also use my pen for shading. So maybe there's some, and I'm just coloring with the side of my pen. So maybe there's some shading along the stem and the lines. And maybe there is, a, and there's some on both sides. Maybe there's also um, some shading or imperfections on the outside of the leaf. You know, you can even make it look like there's a dark spot or a tear, because sometimes leaves get crumpled in the wind. And again, I can put in some more shading And I can put in a lot maybe over here. So my leaf starts to take on a little personality and a little more realism. And I can do that with all of my leaves. Maybe I'll just, um, maybe this part of the leaf is gonna be like in the shade so I can um, go ahead and just... And maybe this half of the leaf is catching the sunlight and the other half isn't. And so I can just shade it all in. Oh, I can also make my stem a little thicker. Another fun thing I've done, especially when I was a kid, was I go outside and collect leaves and then um, you can put them under your paper and then run like crayon over the top and it will create a resist or an image of the leaf. And then I might go back in here and just darken some of these little lines, fine lines. So I have my leaf here, part of it's 
in the shade, part of it's hitting the sun. The next leaf I have is that pin oak leaf. And maybe I wanna try to create um, that roundness. Oops. By giving it some shadow. And maybe up along the, the stem. And down the stem. And then I can widen this part of the stem. And then once I kind of have these darker areas down, I can go in and darken them a little bit more. And this is something I like to do. Um, I just got a phone with um, the little pen or the note. And sometimes it's fun to go on and, and practice drawing these when I'm bored. But you can see how it has much more realism by shading in the leaf. And then as I go towards the middle, I'm going to make my shading lighter. Very light. My dog has joined the room. Her name is Daisy. So if you hear a, a loud bark, that will be her. She's usually pretty quiet though. I have a dog bed in the corner for her. And she is snuggled in for a nap. And that's cool. I love it when my pets want to hang out with me and um, see what I'm doing. So by doing this, I've created more depth, more um, interest in my leaf. And look, I'm just using paper and a pen, you know, something that I just have around the house. You can use there's notebook paper. Um, this happens to be printer paper. I don't recommend that unless you have mom or dad's permission. But since I am a mom, I have my own permission. Um, it could be art paper. It could be from a, a drawing. Um, Oh, I know, a journal. I draw in my journal. And that is really fun. I love drawing in my journal because sometimes I want to journal or add to my journal, but I don't feel the words coming. I don't have the words to add to a journal some days. Oops, I kind of covered up my line, my little veiny line. So I'm going to go back over that, darken it in. So sometimes I'll just draw in my journal. And for this leaf, I'm going to go all the way and I guess in a way color it in with pen. And coloring it in with pen to me is more interesting and fun than just letting it be blank. Now around this edge of the leaf, I'm going to darken it. And I'm going to shade darker towards the out outside of my leaf. 
can come in lighter. I'm just kind of making back and forth little squiggles. And now I can just do some back and forth lines. You can even create patterns like you, you can go back and forth. So it looks like hash marks. You know, just the lines going up and down and back and forth. And that is definitely a okay. And your leaf doesn't have to be a natural color. I mean, this leaf is going to be blue, obviously. And but the great thing is by practicing my leaves, when it, I do have paint, then I can lightly sketch in my leaves and paint them in. So I'm just going to give it a little more darkening. And then just take a minute to look and think, OK, do I like it? Well, I do, but I'm thinking I want to darken, darken this side along the edges. Now I can leave this as random leaf practice, or if I want to turn this whole thing into a composition, then I could start thinking about a background for it. And I'm just kind of darkening this line here. So I could think about, oh, maybe the wind is blowing. And so here I could draw some lines to indicate the wind is blowing. If I wanted this to all be one composition. And I could have, you know, some sunshine coming or um, it could be even a rainy day. So the rain is coming down and the leaves are falling. And it's like I have an aerial view. It's like I'm looking in the sky and I'm noticing these leaves are falling. Now I want to do a little bit more to this one now since I've made this into more of a composition. And so I think what I'm going to do is similar. I'm just going to lightly shade in my leaf. And like I said, I'm using my pen to do all of this. Some other things you can do with a leaf to have fun. You can collect leaves, you can dry them. And then if you have paint or eat like acrylic paint, craft paint, um, watercolor paint, you could, or markers, you could actually um, color or paint in your leaf. I mean, a real leaf, and that's fun too. Now, once we have our leaves done and we have a good feel how to draw a couple different tree leaves, then you can get um, creative with this. 
and think about, okay, maybe I want to make a card for somebody. Maybe there's someone special and you're thinking about them and you want to make them a card to send in the mail or maybe give to them as a gift, you know, then think about my leaf idea. You can draw a simple leaf and you wouldn't have to necessarily turn it into a tree like I did. You can keep it looking like a normal leaf if you want and then have fun, you know, coloring that in. You can, like I said, there's lots of things you can use. Um, crayons, color pencils, markers, um, watercolor set, you know, the kind where you dip the paintbrush in water and dip it into the, the dry paint. And you can create a lovely card, a gift. Um, you know, someone might even want to put this in a frame or they might want to put it with um, oh, a mat around it. But yeah, so that way you can be creating things and being thoughtful and having something fun and positive to do with our lofty leaves. And um, I'm so glad Glad you guys were able to tune in to this and I hope you have some awesome leaves drawn and if you would submit those awesome leaves by taking a picture um, you could even send them to us at the academy or check us out on Facebook or our email and you can get those leaves to us and we can see the leaves that you have made. That would be amazing. So I hope you had fun and that was really enjoyable. We'll be doing more of these in the future for Art Club on Wednesdays from 4.30 to 5.30. And it will be on Zoom with me, Ms. Shirley. And we're going to be exploring um, other things too. Next week, um, I want to, sh to um, show you how to draw a deer. And I think you're going to be really pleased with how fun and easy it actually is to draw one. Um, and then looking ahead in December, I have some fun and creative snow ideas for us to draw and to have fun together. So again, this is Miss Shirley. Thank you for watching and drawing these, and I hope you will share. Thanks. Bye-bye.